the scene for my life would probably be The Gambler by Kenny Rogers, because Julie Prendergast and I are both country girls and we probably sing it together. Um, I don't really cook that often, but probably just be a, a plain basic pasta bake because I'm a pretty plain eater. Um, I would probably be described as quite shy until you get to know me and then I don't shut up. My most annoying habit would probably be talking too much. My first car was a Dahatsu Syrian, just a little tiny car. My first job was at the AIS in administration. My current occupation outside netball is at Netball New South Wales working in marketing. And my dream holiday destination would probably be going around Europe. Um, I don't really have a great fear. I'm not like a sook like Kath Cox and scared of everything. My favourite overindulgence would be chocolate. I am happiest when I am lazing out on the couch. Outside of netball, I enjoy just going shopping and socialising with my friends. We don't get to go out very often. Um, netball takes off most of our lives, so when we do, we try to make most of it. If I didn't play netball, I'd probably play basketball, but if I could, I'd play tennis because I love it. Most entertaining team member would have to be Kim Purcell. She just does some crazy things. Uh, best teammate to room with would be Emma Costa. Why? I don't know, she's just too nice. <laughs> the worst teammate to room with would be Kath Cox, just because she said me. My sporting idol would be Lance Armstrong. Toughest opponent would probably be Moni and Gerard. We seem to have a bit of a fight out there on the court. It's a bit of fun. The team I most enjoy playing would be the Melbourne Vixens. Career highlight would be the World Championships in 2007. Closest mates in the team would be Emma Costa and Amy Wilde, um, and Kath Cox sometimes. <laughs> the best advice anyone's given me is just to enjoy myself and have fun out there.